Hey Jaguars, today's lesson is going to be over dividing fractions and whole numbers. You see on the board I have two types of division problems. I have four divided by one half and one third divided by five. Remember that we are going to use the strategy called flipped and switch to solve these problems. We cannot divide fractions by fractions. We cannot divide part of a whole by part of a whole. Just like with division, we cannot divide a decimal into a decimal. We had to change one of the decimals to a whole number. Now that you see these two problems, I'm gonna give you a little hint. If the problem starts with a whole number, my answer will be a whole number. If the problem starts with a fraction, my answer will be a fraction. Let's get started. Just like with multiplying fractions and whole numbers, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the whole number into a fraction. I'm going to do that by putting a 1 underneath the whole number. 4 over 1 divided by 1 half. Now I am going to flip or get the reciprocal of the second fraction. Always the second fraction. I will flip which is also called a reciprocal, the second fraction, and I will change the operation from division to multiplication. Now I will rewrite my problem. Now we have a multiplication problem. And how we solve multiplication problems are by multiplying straight across. 4 times 2 over 1 times 1. 4 times 2 is 8. 1 times 1 is 1. Any number over 1 will equal itself. Therefore, 8 over 1, the answer is 8. Now let's take a look at how we're going to solve the second type of fraction. 1 third divided by 5. Remember, the expression starts with a fraction, therefore my answer will be in fraction form. The first thing I will have to do is turn the five into a fraction. So I get one third divided by five over one. I will do the flip and switch. I will flip the second fraction, always the second fraction. Remember, when I flip the fraction, that is called the reciprocal, and I will change the operation to multiplication. Rewrite my new problem. One over three times one over five. Now, when we multiply fractions, we multiply straight across. So we get one times one over three times five. 1 times 1 is 1, 3 times 5 is 15. So my answer is 1 over 15 or 1 15th. And ladies and gentlemen, that is today's lesson, dividing fractions by whole numbers and whole numbers by fractions. Good luck with the rest of your week, and let me know if you need help.